guys today I'm gonna take you along on I'm working on finishing up a heat load calculation on a house I need to go through and do a scan of it and then take that information and input it into another software that I'm using and then I'm going to do a full estimate with two options for this customer for a complete change out. I'm going to show you the whole process, so stick with me. Okay, this is the house that we are working on. You see this little area over here of course we're, we're just calculating the upstairs that little room right there would have been so hard to measure and using a lidar application like that does make it a whole lot easier but this is a house with 10 foot ceilings and um it's probably a hundred year old construction so i'm going to scan just to get basically square footage of everything i've got to do every room up here and we're just doing the upstairs all right here we go all right now we're getting our lines I'm trying to do this where you can see it. And we have to do every room like this. That's close enough. Come down here to the floor. Start from right here. Okay, see how it's starting to fill everything out? Just automatically. The thing with doing this with LiDAR, it accurately gives me the square footage of each room. All right, now we're going into this room. Let's we'll start with a corner here. determine airflow for every room. Okay. And what's this is the part of the house that would be really hard to try and measure. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to measure it out with a tape measure? Come on, that's my that's my window. Come on. Come on, I'm having trouble getting this window in here.
Move farther away. Let me see, I got that one. I still need to move farther away. Almost got it. Almost. All right, come on, there's a window here. There we go. All right, we got this room done. All right, this is my the space here. This is where my staircase is. That's the room over there. That's Wait a minute, maybe that's the room over here. Let's see if I can rotate that. <laughs> this is the room over here. And this is the room right here. That's closet space. In here is where my stair staircase is bathroom and then this room and then this room over here that's good okay this gives me a total square footage of this area of 2036 feet all right so basically what i've come up with is a four turn will do but if i um increase the design temperature to say um 97 degrees instead of 95 outside it's a little bit over four tons so a four ton is just barely big enough and um what i would like to quote this customer is maybe a five ton that is variable speed and that way when it's really hot the five ton could keep up so um i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to quote him the five ton variable speed line set drain pan pad new thermostat new thermostat wire especially if i quote him a communicating system so um that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna quote him a five ton variable speed system and we'll first i'm gonna talk to him about it and see what he wants to do but i think that's what the answers are going to be all right this basically is just a picture of the scan that i did and this is just basically a square footage scan it doesn't do any load calculation that's just square footage but that's the scan and here i'm going to start showing you how i work up my estimate okay i'd already started this estimate so i'm going to be filling in some of the details and what you're seeing me do right here is putting in the price of the equipment this is my quote from my John Stone dealer for an inverter driven five ton system with the um, community, it's a communicating system, thermostat, line set, pad, drain pan, and I'm putting their price in there without taxes now, that is without tax. And around here, it's like 8%. I'm putting that price in here and I'm adding in a few little details right here. You see me taking out one of the surge protectors because the quote he gave me included a voltage monitor. And so I'm adding in the details for the equipment that this is going to have a voltage monitor and it's also going to have its own communicating thermostat that controls humidity. So I'm going in and just adding some details to the estimate but like you see there that is the raw price of the equipment everything you see here is just basic price no markup and i'll show you how i do my markup in just a second so basically i got a float switch a surge protector a plenum and some supplies and y'all can pause over those and see 
my prices on those. And here I'm adding in that it does have, uh, that does include the thermostat with um, a communicating thermostat that can help control humidity. The customer opted for no heat strips on this one and they don't need heat strips until you get down to negative 40. And here it never gets below like 17 degrees. So no heat strips needed. I did explain to him that you might want them in case the condenser fails, but he has two other systems in the house for downstairs. And that's my basic price, 9,190. That's with no markup. So I'm gonna show you how I add markup. We take that price, the 9,190, and normally I add 40% markup. But I'm not, I'm gonna change it here and we're gonna go with 35%. And that number you see right there, that 3,216, that is my profit. That is what I make on a job like this. Now remember, I put in this price and I'm gonna add that to the price of the equipment. I put in the price of this equipment with no tax, so that gives him another like $400 discount. So I'm not actually making 3,200, it's more like 2,800, but I'm trying to give him a really good price here and that's one of my ways of doing it. So 12,406 is the price of this inverter driven system. Install, new line set, thermostat wire, everything new except the duct work. And I was, trying to really encourage him to go with this offer because the other one that I'm about to click on right here, this is a conventional 14.3 sear. Um, everything on it, on this is basically the same. And look at that, 11,069. So um, yeah, I think the variable speed system helps him give, gives him more capacity because it's just barely over a four ton and um, helps him control humidity. All right, on those clothes, I'm not sure how much of that I'm gonna be able to show. I'm gonna have to do some creative editing because the guy's address shows up in what I recorded over and over. But um, the Rood System 5-ton, which I don't think is the best option, was a little over $11,000, and that's my that's how I normally quote things. The um, one where I showed you a little more detail on how I'm quoting it, and you saw me give him a, a lower markup. That one is doubly discounted. I gave him a lower markup, and the price I put in for the equipment did not have tax on it. I knew that when I did it, so that means he's getting three, four hundred dollar discount. But um. That's the system that I think that house needs. It gives me a variable capacity. That way, if it is slightly oversized, it can slow down and he can control humidity through the communicating controller on that one. So I'll, that was kind of like incentive, you know, please go for this one. I think that's the one you need. And plus they give a lifetime replacement on the condenser. Uh, you can't beat that. That's, that's fantastic. Um, those things are hard to work on anyway, so that I personally like that. But anyway, that's the process of doing one of those. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it helped you or if it is interesting to other guys that happen to do the same thing sometimes, how about give me a like and subscribe. Hype the video. Tell me what you may have done different. And I'll catch you on the next one.